Maria Anna Maria Come on, let's dance to the party It's the birthday of dear Mother Mary Come on, let's dance, it's a fiesta Feliz cumpleaños Maria 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 La milagrosa Maria La madre de Dios Pray for All of us sinners Now and forever
Welcome to our Novena Mass in honor of our Mother Mary for the celebration of her birthday. Today is the fourth day of our Novena. Let us sing along our entrance hymn. gathered together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I know that there are a lot of our friends, our loved ones who are sick. Let us offer in a special way during this Mass those who are sick that our Lord Jesus Christ through His Holy Spirit and through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, touch them and give them the healing that we are praying for during this Mass. Let us also offer all our intentions to God, our Father. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. To be worthy in the sacred mystery, it has called to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and pardon.
Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the blessed Mary ever Virgin, we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaac. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exult. Exult with her. All you who are mourning over her. That you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort. That you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came true man, the resurrection of the dead came also true man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant lived in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb lived for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel is the Gospel of the visitation of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. There are plenty of people bashing us Catholics. Why are you praying the prayer of Hail Mary many times? Many times, many times. My dear friends, let us remember that the words that we are uttering while praying the rosary, especially the Hail Mary prayer, is coming from the scripture. The first part, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Those words came from the mouth of Archangel Gabriel. 
And the second part is, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Of your, of your, here, the fruit of your womb. Because Elizabeth does not know what will be the name of the baby in the womb of Mary. So, we just add Jesus. No other name but Jesus. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And that is the words of Elizabeth, the cousin of Mary. So when we pray the Holy Rosary and praying the Hail Mary, many times we are just reading the text in the Bible. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Words from the Bible. And our plea to Mary, our request to Mary, is the third part. And this is us, the church. Pray for us sinners. Holy Mary, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Because Mary, in her apparition, promised to us that if we wear the medal, the Immaculate, uh, the Miraculous Medal, the Immaculate Mary is telling St. Catherine, giving the medal, the Miraculous Medal, those who are wearing this medal at their deathbed, I will be there. That is why our church is asking Mary, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Asking Mary, asking Mary to be with us. Yesterday, telling us that the Lord is with us. Today, Mary will always be with us. That is our prayer. That's the importance of praying the rosary. Always asking Mary, Di ba kung tayo ay hihingi at ulit-ulitin natin ang paglalambing sa isang tao sa ating hiling, later on, that person will give in, will grant our request. It is like praying the rosary that we are asking Mary. And Mary, we know, will always intercede for our request. And that is the beauty of the rosary. Praying the words from the scripture and asking something from our mother to be with us, to pray for us, and to be with us in time of death, that she will be there to comfort us and will bring us to her son, Jesus. If you have seen here, this is the statue of the Holy Family. Mary is holding Jesus and Saint Joseph. Mary is holding the rosary. Similarly, Joseph is also holding the rosary because the two is reflecting meditating the life of Jesus. If you pray the rosary, you are praying the mystery of the life of Jesus, his mission here on earth. So, continue praying. Continue praying the rosary because 
we are always near to Mary. So at this very moment, I invite you, my dear friends, to offer all your intentions, to offer all the prayer requests, and especially those people who ask you to pray for them. Let us offer them, like Mary, our mother. She is our intercessor. You and me can be the intercessor of others. That is why you are telling us, priest, Father, can you pray for our intentions? Father, can you bless us? Father, can you say a prayer for my request? That is a form of intercession. I can intercede for your prayers. You too can pray and intercede for the intentions of others. I remember a friend complaining. She said, Father, how come I am prayerful? But if I pray for my intention, it is so slow to be granted. But if I pray for the intentions of others, then it is so easy for them to get it. How come? Is God choosy? And I said to her, No! God is very generous. Perhaps God is telling you that you need to pray for others so that it will be granted easily. And ask them also to pray for your intentions so that it will also easily be granted to you. And this is what we call interceding to one another in prayer. So, my dear friends, my dear friends, let us pray for one another. Interceding to the needs, to the prayers, to the requests of one another. So, my dear friends, at this very moment, let us now pray. Let us now offer our intentions to God. Bow your head and pray wholeheartedly for our prayer request, for our intentions, and also for the intentions offered during this Mass. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for choosing Mary to be the mother of your son, Jesus. As we are praying to you, our intentions, and Mary is interceding for all our prayer requests, please, Lord, grant whatever intentions and prayer requests that is in our mind and heart right now. Bless them, Lord. Grant them, Lord. As I offer in this Mass the intentions entrusted to my prayer and offered during this Mass and the intentions of those who are attending with us in this live streaming. May God continue to bless our request in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in his only name, his mighty name, Jesus, and through the intercession of our Mother Mary, our Mother of Miraculous Medal, our Mother of Perpetual Help, our Intercessor, our Lady of Fatima, our Lady, of lords intercede for us pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen so at this very moment my dear friends 
I give you a minute of silence. I beg you, do not doubt. Just pray. Offer your intentions to God. What is in your mind and heart? Because God will always grant our request.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of the sacrifice may by your grace Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed Virgin Mary. Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that parting of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Pablo Virgilio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially those that we offer during this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, so please you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. This is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For our friends joining us today in our online Mass, let us pray the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray for the sick, especially those affected by the COVID-19 virus and its variants. Let us pray the Horatio Emperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Ezekiel Moreno, pray for us. Let us pray the Novena for the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Fourth day, Mary, the child of pious parents. Reply to thy patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, and deliver us from all dangers. O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. Meditation. Tradition tells us that Mary's parents were called Joachim and Anna. The Holy Fathers rival each other in praising the virtue of his holy couple. Saint Epiphanus writes, Joachim and Anna were pleasing in the sight of God because of the holiness of their lives. Saint Andrew of Crete remarks, 
Joaquim was eminent for the mildness and fortitude of his character. The law of God was his rule of life. He was just and never relaxed in the fervor of his love of God. Anna was no less noted for her meekness, continence, and chastity. St. Jerome relates, the life of his holy couple was simple and just before the Lord, edifying and virtuous before men. St. John Damascene exclaims, O happy, chaste, and immaculate couple, Joachim and Anne, you are known according to the Lord's word by your fruit. Your life was pleasing in the sight of God and worthy of her who was born of you. Practice. It is a great blessing and one to be esteemed more highly than wealth and high station to have God peering by his parents. For their sake, God is gracious to the children and lavishes his gifts on them. It is certainly a great privilege to be offered up to God immediately after birth by the hands of a pious mother to have from childhood up the example and guidance of virtues, parents is certainly of the greatest importance. St. Chrysostomum writes, The parent's example is the book from which the, le the child learns. A pious bishop was wont to say, The good example of the parents is the best catechism and the truest mirror that a family can have. If Christian parents imitate the example of Joachim and Anne, the blessing of God will rest on them and on their children. For because her parents were so dear to Mary, she will not refuse to join, to join them in their prayers for us. Prayer of the Church Grant to us, thy servants, we beseech thee, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that to those for whom the delivery of the Blessed Virgin was the commencement of salvation, the commemoration of her nativity may give increasing peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Litany of Loreto Prayer Hail thee, brightest morn, for honor of the heavenly Son of Justice, who does bring light to earth. Humbly prostrate with all our hearts, we pray thee to vouchsafe in thy goodness to be born again in spirit in our souls, that led captive by the loveliness and sweetness, they may ever live united to thy most sweet and loving heart. O Mary, who didst come into the world, pray from stain, obtain of God for me, that I may live it without sin.
let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining with us in our Novena Masses. And I hope we can f finish together. You are joining me every day, this nine-day Novena Masses. So thank you for joining with us. May the good Lord continue to bless each one of us. And tell your friends also to join with us in our Novena Masses. This is our preparation for the birthday of Mary and also the fiesta of Mama Mary Prayer Sanctuary. Here we have uh, the statue of the Holy Family. This is the official statue of the devotion of 2000 Hail Mary's Rosary devotion. The family that prays together stays together. If you want to avail the statue of the Holy Family, just contact Sister Mary Jan Racines, SMCC, with this cell phone number, 0917-633-8384. And Sister Mary Jan will be happy to respond to your inquiry about the Holy Family statue. So if you look at the Holy Family, it is very unique because the baby Jesus is a Santo Nino holding the globe. Globe, the earth is his mission. And through that cross, he saved the world. And secondly, if you look at the heart of Jesus, it is the sacred heart of Jesus, loving. And the water and the blood, the rays of the divine mercy. So it is very unique. And here, the color of Mary is Mary help of Christians. And the color of Saint Joseph, Joseph the worker. So if you look at the hands of Mary and Joseph, they are holding their holy rosary because the rosary is what Mary is asking for all of us. Pray the rosary daily because the rosary is the meditation of the mission and life of Jesus here on earth. So my dear friends, I hope you will join us in that devotion, 2000 Hail Mary's Rosary, and you can have the statue. By having the statue of the Holy Family, you are also helping in our, in our construction ongoing construction of the chapel there in Mama Mary Prayer Sanctuary. Thank you, thank you for joining with us. Thank you for your help for our ongoing construction and thank you for being part in our mission. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go continue serving the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sensu of 
about it It's the birthday of dear Mother Mary Come on, let's dance, it's a fiesta Feliz cumpleaños, Maria Maria, Maria, la milagrosa Maria, la madre de Dios Pray for all of us sinners Now and forever And to the party It's the birthday of dear Mother Mary Come on, let's dance, it's a fiesta Feliz cumpleaños, Maria Maria, Maria, la milagrosa Maria, la madre de Dios Pray for all of us Now and forever Fiesta Feliz cumpleaños María 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 La milagrosa María La madre de Dios Pray for All of us sinners Now and forever María La milagrosa María, la madre de Dios, rey por all of the sinners, now and forever more, now and forever more, now and forever more. Oh